Uh, Terry, um, the defensive problems, it seemed like you against penetration, you helped off the corner shooter quite a bit. Uh, and penetration hurt you a couple other times recently. What, what can you do to fight that? Well, individually, we have to be better on the ball and take away angles to the basket. Uh, they really didn't hurt us with pick and rolls. Uh, you're right, there was penetration, whether it was in transition or in the half court. Uh, they did a good job of finding the weak side shooters. I don't want to discourage helping, you know, but if we do help from the bottom guy, then we got to rotate to the corner and we got to be better at it. And what about uh, Mello, Terry? He's obviously going through a really rough patch the last five or six games. Uh, with, with a guy like Naz coming off the bench and having such a good game, can you afford to stick with Mello? And how does that dynamic work out? Well, Naz didn't come off the bench. Naz started. Okay. He came off your bench. He's been sitting there a long time. Uh, he started the last two games. I, I know, Terry. You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. He's buried treasure, basically. I'm sorry? He's buried treasure. I don't know what that means, but I thought Nas he's had been a buried game. quite a while there. He, he hardly has ever played. Through right. the first 18 games of the season, he hasn't All right. played. So, so what's your question? Well, my question is, will he get some of Melo's playing time, or are you going to continue to play Melo and hope he works his way out of this uh, massive I shooting slump? Well, I wouldn't call it a massive shooting slump. He's had a couple of poor shooting games. Uh, I don't know what you call a massive shooting slump, but no, Mello has earned the right to play through a, a shooting slump. Next question goes to Jason Quick with The Athletic. Coach, how do you hold your players accountable uh, when it comes to defense? Uh, in what way are you asking? Like playing time, uh, film session. How I, I'm curious how you hold them accountable to get better at defense because this has been a topic of conversation for a while. Uh, I think in general, in NBA game, I think uh, reducing playing time uh, is not the answer for the most part. Sometimes with young players, you can do that. Uh, we have, after every game, we usually have a film session pointing out uh, teaching points, things that we can do better, things that we did well. Uh, I don't know if it's a question of accountability because uh, I think it's more about teaching and coaching rather than necessarily holding it. I think that's a catchphrase as far mm -hmm. as uh, what people like to talk about. I think everybody on our team is accountable. Uh, we talk to them about responsibility and ways that we have to get better, things that we have to do to get better. And that's part of coaching. Then what do you think you have to teach better then? Depends on the night, you know, tonight, uh, whether it's transition, some nights it's pick and roll, some nights it's weak side help, some nights it's uh, containing the ball and penetration. I think uh, as you go through a season, different teams pose different problems. Mm -hmm. And when you go into that, uh, you have a game plan and whether it's uh, executing a game plan or individually being better. Next question goes to Jamie Hudson, NBC Sports Northwest. Coach, so with uh, Nasir and his career night, uh, how would you describe his performance? Well, it was, it was a bright spot for tonight, for sure. I mean, he shot the ball really well. Nas had a tough, uh, tough go the last few months, and it was good to see him get out there and see the ball go in the basket, get some extended run, and uh, I was really happy for him. Next question, Aaron Pentris, the Oregonian. Coach, what gives you optimism that the team can become a top-tier defense? I know there's talk before the season started, like Covington talked about finishing in the top 10 in defensive rating. Do you still feel confident this team can at least get in the upper half? Well, it's going to be a, for our overall for the season. Uh, no, I think I think we can be a better defense. I think we can be a top 10, top 15 defensive team when when we have the team that, uh, you know, Nurk is a big part of our defense. I'm not using excuses, injuries as an excuse, but Nurk is a big part of our defensive, uh, uh, I don't know, necessarily game plan, but he has a presence on defense. And 
we miss his presence defensively. Uh, you know, Roko, we've had a couple injuries with Rocco and, and DJ. I'm not using excuses, but those are the reasons why I think that we can be a top 10 defensive team. Thanks. Okay, we'll wrap it up there. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you.